It's that time of year that the nights are getting longer and it's getting colder and people are turning the heating up and getting huge electricity bills. But not to worry, Facebook and TikTok have everything you need in the way of power saving plugs. Simply plug these into a socket et voila, you'll save lots of power. You'll cut your electricity bill in half apparently just by plugging one of these in. Obviously, they're not going to work, but you know what? Once you've sent your money, you're not getting it back because most of those sellers are in countries that have very poor financial standards. So uh, you, you're losing your money. But let's plug these in and demonstrate what they actually do because they are at least pleasingly visual. And they don't do what they used to do, which is probably makes them safer. So let me just adjust the lighting so that these look a bit brighter because they're not super bright. Well, let me plug one in. Is it all flickery? Oh, flickery. Yes, it is. One moment. So this is what I'd call the classic model, although sometimes they have two LEDs. I think two LEDs makes it better, but generally speaking, the circuitry is just for the LEDs. Let's plug in the next one, which coincidentally, well, all of these are based on a standard plug housing that is used for other things like the rodent repellers and insect repellers. This one is very nice. It's got good LED highlighting. This means nothing. It still doesn't mean it works, but you know, it does light up and it looks visually pleasing. And finally, we have the Smart Energy Saver, a different style, this one. And it has gone all in on LEDs. It's got a flashing LED with very poor regulation because you can see that when it lights, it probably is just a standard flashing LED. When it lights, it lights up very brightly and then sort of dims after that as it discharges the capacitor. Right here, watch your eyes. The light is coming back. And the light is back. So let's open these up and see what's inside them. There is a quality control sticker, lol. Uh, there's no quality involved in this. And these plugs used to have a capacitor in them. Oh, there is a capacitor here and a little circuit board for the LED. Oh, the most amazingly minimal amount of circuitry ever. Is the capacitor actually connected? Something the capacitor is actually connected. Is it actually the capacitor? Let's uh, lop those leads off, right? Let's uh, chop the leads. And we'll test this capacitor and see if it's a real capacitor because the first versions of these uh, claim to correct power factor correction. They still do that. That's a thing that they imply that's what it does. And they just basically slapped a big capacitor across the supply. It doesn't make a difference to your electricity bill. It's just... Uh, it was used in the earliest days to trick people by making it look as though it did by... Uh, by varying the by simply the way they tested it with a very suspicious load uh, this is super light <laughs> look you could get your finger right down it's just resin down there let's bring a capacitance meter in it's uh precision gold vintage uh maplin meter so i'll just hook the leads on and it's got a capacitance of nothing no capacitance it is just a fake box. They've even saved an amount of resin. They could at least have filled it with sand and put a little layer of resin the top to make it look less bogus. But anyway, that's that. Uh, the circuitry. OMG. Right. Uh, one moment, please. Well, I will say the circuitry has got safer. It's very universal. It's got a diode, it's got an LED and a resistor, which is actually being used within its kind of specification to a degree because it's only half wave. But they've also got the option to have another LED in parallel uh, for those special cases that have two LEDs in the front as they used to. But they've really cut corners. Is there any? Oh, there we go. There's the... Well, there's a big plastic sprue. Uh, there's the other position for the second LED if they choose to use it. And uh, then they just mount the, the circuit board vertically. But they've literally just stuffed this into the hole. And that's it. Fascinating. Um, it's worth mentioning. I, I wish they'd address this issue. I wish they'd be more professional about this. They could have put a little capacitor across this for smoothing. But also the second LED, they could just have put put it here and it would be double the brightness for the same component values and therefore would be a much more efficient power saving plug. But anyway, that's the first one taken apart. Let's put this stuff out the way and grab the second one. The second unit in question here definitely has the nicest uh, LED lighting. Let's stuff this through the label. They put a label over it and they say if it doesn't work, if it doesn't light up, uh, send it to one of our authorised repair people. Don't open it yourself because we don't want you knowing what's inside i.e. nothing. Oh, how's this going to come out? 
I've undone the screw. Is this going to just prise out from the front? Yes, it is. Is there another screw hidden here? Am I missing something, or does it just clip on very tightly? I think it's going to clip on very tightly. It looks as though there may be little clips at the side here. So these things are also sold with sob stories to basically prey on the elderly, particularly, dare I say, elderly ladies. Um, and the way they do that, uh, one of the most common, well, there's, there's no, I mean, there is a capacitor in here, but it's there's no, they've not even put the theatre capacitor in. One of the common ways they do that is with stories about, say, the little African girl who had invented this to try and save power, to save her family money because they were very poor. And then uh, she realised that, you know, it could help benefit society. And uh, then the oil companies tried to buy her out. But she said, no, I will take less money so they are available to the people of the world. And the bizarre messages you get left on their sites are along the lines of, oh, how heartbreakingly wonderful. I bought five for all my family to help this poor little girl and her family. All you helped was a scammer and his family. Right, okay, uh, this one has a capacitive dropper in it. Ah, I shall reverse engineer this one. One moment, please. Okay, here's the circuitry for this one. It's quite nice because, in a sense, it uses a capacitive dropper, so it's efficient. Um... And the LEDs, the little tiny surface mount LEDs, there's two of them, and they just splash light up against the back of the uh, front panel. There is one component I've missed here. How terrible of me. I don't feel too bad about it. Hold on, I'll draw it in. There it is. It's a discharge resistor to stop people getting a little zap off the plug. So that's 470k. Excellent. Um, right. So it does just splash light against the back of this uh, panel, which uh, gives a very nice illumination effect just because of the so the way it catches, the light guides catch the illumination. Lovely, if, uh, if you paid a pound for it. So here's the incoming AC supply. It's got a 100 ohm resistor. That's good from a safety perspective because that's immediately followed. It's a metal film resistor by the look of it, so it will act as a fusible resistor as well. And then there's a metal oxide resistor, it's an 07D471K, and this is a box ticking exercise just to make it look as though the plug is actually doing something and removing transients from your supply, which uh, it still won't cut your bill down, and it won't even do this too well because there's a 100 ohm resistor in series. But 07D471K is the number of that little blue transient suppressor, and that breaks down to 07D is a 7mm disc 471 is 47 and 10 for 470 volt when it starts conducting, and the K is 10% tolerance. Very low energy dissipation capability. There's a 330 nanofarad capacitor. I would guess that's probably rated about 400 volts. Yep. And there's the discharge resistor across it. Uh, it goes through the bridge rectifier. There is a 100 megafarad smoothing capacitor, 25 volt, and then two LEDs in parallel across that. What they could have done, they could have saved themselves some money, used a lower value for that, or even the same value, and stuck the two LEDs in series again with one just resistor. It would have simplified the design of the circuit board as well. But they didn't. Uh, maybe they'll watch my videos and learn at some point. Okay, on to the next unit. And it's someone with the sophisticated flashing LED. I think this one, I don't see any screw holes. I can see under this label there is a little speaker port for the ultrasonic rodent depeller, depeller, repeller version of this uh, quack product. So is it going to go this way? Yes, it is. Oh, this one can just come apart in your hands. Excellent. If, if you pull it hard enough out the socket. What have we got? We've got another capacitor-ish type thing. And there, I mean, I've not seen this style of circuit board. It's soldered directly onto the pins. That's quite annoying. But it is a surface mount arrangement. So I think that is just resistors by the look of it. Um, right. It does look like it's resistors. There is actually a little fuse. I might pop this out. No, I won't because, uh, right, tell you what. Uh, let's start with the capacitor. So I'll crop the capacitor out, and we'll see if it's a real capacitor or a fake capacitor. Again, just slapping a capacitor across your mains doesn't really necessarily do anything. The first ones did actually put a big capacitor across. These are sort of fan capacitors. Um, and sometimes they just 
soldered the wires onto the one pad so it wasn't connected because there were probably problems. Well, there were problems with the capacitors being not very great, being right across the mains and just bursting into flames and setting fire to people's houses. So that's probably why they steered away from that direction because it's bad enough selling some of the quack product, but burning their house down, down is apparently quite naughty as well. So let's uh, put this up to roughly the 20 megafarad range, short it out just in case it's storing huge amounts of energy. Um, and put this across here. What value is the capacitor? Nothing. It's a fake capacitor. There's no capacitance value in there at all. It's. I would say that this one is more likely to be filled with a bit of sand, unless they've really gone to town the resin. I shall try and uh, open this. One moment, please. Yep, there's the fine silica sand in there, or it could be cocaine or something like that, who knows. But uh, yeah, they've saved resin by putting sand, maybe the other one did have sand, right, well, I'm going to do this now. Uh, one moment please. Now, I want you to try and contain your excitement here because there are special magic components. So here's the AC supply coming in, and leading it to that uh, fake pasture, it was the other one that was full of sand, lovely sand. It was that fine silica sand often found in HRC fuses, the ones that are designed to quench the arc. Um, but the, there's two capacitors and uh, also zero ohm links uh, leading up to the big box of nothing. Not, I think they've just added components for extra drama. There is what appears to be a glass fuse in the back to comply with regulations. Then there's a diode and a couple of current limiting resistors charging this capacitor. Um, and then there's this load resistor and then just to stop the voltage going up too high. And then there's this uh, yellow flashing LED. Well, a white flashing LED, it's the yellow phosphor flashing LED. And then there's this completely superfluous diode. It's not needed. It's across this capacitor it's never going to get charged in reverse normally so they uh, that's that's an extra diode maybe it's just for extra symmetrical drama i do get the feeling that the person who designs all these products because they all have one consistent thing going with them and that is a bad design all of them have really bad design i get the feeling that it's one factory that's making these and uh, let's just uh, make sure everything's in focus. Yeah, like that. I get the feeling it's one factory making not just these power saver plugs, but also other products that are aimed at different markets. Like, say, for instance, the you get the fake ionizers and you get the rodent repellers and you get loads of random things that are just all fake. And they do have this thing in common of really bad circuitry design. So I get the feeling that it's just one factory that is just buying out all these different products under different uh, different styles. But there we have it. That's this year's crop of completely fake power saving plugs. The only way to save power in your home is to reduce the temperature a little bit, perhaps just keeping them comfortable and make sure you've got no rogue loads. Uh, like, say, for instance, a heater or light, le high power light left on out in an outhouse or something like that. Um, or in an attic, some people have found that they've had a 100 watt light bulb in their attic burning for years without knowing about it. And that's used a, a chunk of power. But just turning down heating and stuff like that can make a huge difference. And just dressing warmly instead, that can uh, cut your bill down dramatically. But there we have it. Uh, very stylish, very fun to take apart, but all. Oh, as usual, just completely and utterly fake.